ओके वेलकम सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेब बुक्स इन ए स्ट्राइप वाई वी यूज वैन वी यूज एंड हाउ डू यूज विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट एंड सो लेट सी सम डिफरेंस बिटवीन विथ सिंपल थिंग्स लाइक वी यूज वे बुक इन द मोस्ट ऑफ कैसेस इन वॉइस एन द पेमेंट ऑफ इन वॉइस विल बी सक्सेसफुल इन दैट कैस वी विल शो that uh, success page or uh, we call web book of our api okay so the success page uh, um, after the payment is done it's open and uh, we cannot put some kind of uh, api which happen which manipulates our database it will be dangerous for our database and our privacy so we use a web book call which uh, is not visible for uh, user and not accessible from a user side because we user cannot see its call okay uh, it does not need uh, any authentication because it's a public but uh, user cannot see because it's call from the stripe side okay and we have to integrate uh, a stripe in our backend okay and uh, when we open developer mode we can see the web book option here okay and we have two things add an endpoint and test in local environments and uh, we have a add in endpoint so we have to add an endpoint here which is a endpoint should be with uh, ssl certifications okay if you are using in real mode if you are using in test mode it can be http it will work but in uh, real mode it will not accept http okay and you have to select an events so here is the most important thing the events you are selecting okay you are selecting a particular events will on will uh, will hit if uh, in the case of any events is happening something if you write in the code you can see here the code uh, let me okay well let me first to select an event like complete okay so check out session dot completed it means the invoice payment flow will it's completed okay so you can see here, here is the event okay and uh, handle the over event there is a part and inside that handle the other event type uh, okay okay handle the other event type so before that like here we have to write our code what we want to do what we want to update okay so it's easy like uh, we uh, and uh, we are thinking how do we connect uh, this uh, internally and how will be the complete flow and here is also test and local environment we just have to log in and uh, these we have to put and uh, these uh, like these command will uh, you have to run and then uh, you just uh, you have to put that inside your backend okay it's it only works for your uh, test it will uh, in local environment it will not uh, on your hosting site okay and uh, let's see what is the will be complete flow so we have to generate a invoice first generate a invoice first okay after the generation of any invoice we get id which is a start most of the case cs dot test okay and it's gen it's generated okay and if any payment is done if payment of invoice is done then we get then we get some body inside that body inside that body we get 
we get um, we get uh, obj uh, data and id the id which is similar to that so we just have to do two things like we have to generate an invoice and store a id with particular payment in particular status okay and whenever the payment is done we have to update our database we get a cs test id here and with the help of that we can update our uh, database with that id and uh, also we are uh, getting the amount for uh, cross check like what what number of amount we have paid so like we can do like this okay so we are not skipping anything we, we have uh, our uh, local test environment for listening our web calls so you have to uh, first install the strap stripe cli okay then you have to run a command okay so i have created a backend with the code they have provided okay and uh, here is a code so here is a post api it's named webhook okay and the code is same which uh, they have provided so we have to first login we have to run first this command login okay and um, so like you there yeah, i have authenticated here you have to install a uh, stripe cli first to be for the stripe login command allow access okay. so now i have access okay completed okay. so after this i will uh, paste this command and we have the completed tag here please ignore this because i have complete i have uh, completed before so that's why it's showing completed now so okay so this is complete uh, this is connected so we have to open a new cmd for call the our intent so this is our intent okay the same intent which they have provided in code payment in payment underscore intent to dot succeed it means this is code will run when this event hit so i have written uh, this console you can see this console this is a call be success in which is uh, hitting on this payment intent no succeed okay so i am running that intent here this intent is running okay so yeah trigger is succeed you can see here you can see here uh, just okay this is call b success because uh, it will uh, print all all event types which have which uh, have hit from the stripe site but but uh, in our switch case it's only the payment succeed intent so this is printing only this you can see this and also if you go on the stripe you can see here we have a receive events okay also with response a status 200 it means it succeed and uh, this is a local environment and uh, when we want to add an endpoint for test so you have to add this public URL. The URL should not be authenticated or any kind of middleware in there. It should be public. So like a stripe can easily hit or up, or uh, update our database. Okay. And uh, select event. The event should be here. Checkout dot uh, session dot completed. 
the most of cases invoice uh, follow this uh, flow for complete so check out those session dot complete uh, will work on the invoice thing when the invoice payment will be done that will be hit and uh, your database will be updated so here is a complete integration and call and uh, how it will work and uh, so that's how it's work thank you